Hey folks, Arduino time. Um, as you can see, reach the heady heights of an Arduino there of getting Blink to work. Big deal. Yeah, I agree. What am I actually doing? So this is um, the start of a project that I'm doing for a friend, which is to put, put uh, a fan in his, in his Amiga, Commodore Amiga A1200, which he's done lots of expansions on, and he wants to keep it cool inside. So what we thought about is putting a, a Arduino inside it, um, so that it can do other things. Connect the Arduino out through a serial port, uh, which will be presented at the back of the Amiga using the current serial port, because that's not used for anything. So we can do a USB to serial connector, um, so we can program the Arduino. The yeah, the Arduino. Uh, the Arduino will then also use PWM to um, power a fan, so it's going to be manually adjustable. Um, with a switch so that you can uh, adjust it automatically. Um, how's it going to adjust automatically? It's going to be using a, um, a thermistor, NTC, 10K NTC, uh, which will get, which will be um, thermally plastered onto the chip that is wanting to keep cool, or the one that will get hot to start the lot, and use that as a reference to be able to uh, power a fan um, using PWM. So, what's that got to do with this? So what we're looking at doing here is I'm going to go through the basics of sorting out, sorting out a, an Arduino so that you can use it with PWM. I'm not going to mess around too much because hopefully you'll know the basics. Um, start here. So we've got a standard LED, 220 ohm resistor. On the Arduino, we've got these pins here. 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. Those are PWM. PWM cable pins, and so we're going to connect our um, LED from pin nine to ground pin, okay, and then we'll power them up. It's only got the basic blink sketch loaded. What I'll do is I'll put a link uh, below uh, to the um, sketches I'm going to be using. So you got blink is working, yeah, great. So let's upload a very basic. Uh, this is one that's available on the Arduino website. Um, I'm not going to change it, don't need to change it. And so there we go, so that's uploaded. Great stuff. Now that's not going to power a fan, is it? So what we need to do is looking at um, using a using a MOSFET. A Buzz 11N MOSFET. So, MOSFET, uh, left to right as you're looking at the front of the chip, get drain source. Okay, Gate is your flippy flappy switch on and off so we shall connect our gate to pin 9. Okay, So now we can switch them on and off. The source is the when it passes through it goes to earth and I'm just trying to find a black cable so black so we'll take that. When I say earth I mean ground there. So we need to connect ground on the Arduino to that. Cool beans. Next what we want to do, well for this demonstration or example, whatever, it might just turn into something totally abysmal, is I'm just going to use this piece of strip which may or may not work looking at that there. In fact I'm going to make the assumption it's not going to work and resolder. So just to be on the safe side. We'll quickly resolder this. He says. Quite a bit of fresh solder in there. But this is just an example, because um, yeah, there's a few significant differences when using a few, LED, few 12 volt LEDs and electric motor. Electric motor, you've got to think about having uh, flyback diodes in, which we'll go through once we've got this example working and whatnot. So the drain, get drain source. The drain. Why, why is it the drain? 
because it is the drain of the device. It is the output of the device. Uh, that's the way I understand. That's the way I look at it, and that's the way I understand it. And it seems to work for me. So next, we need our common earth. So there's our ground connected there. Okay, and our positive. So this is set on 12 volts into there. Yeah, it's a bit pants, isn't it? Uh, so we've got our gate, we've got our drain through the device down there, and we've got our source, which is, yeah, there's no reason why that shouldn't work. So we've got, we've already got our um, fade uh, sketch uploaded. So what we'll do now is we'll just give our source 12 volts, there's 12 volts. Interestingly, this also reduces the amount of power that you're going to use. And let's plug it in. There we go. And so there. Ta-da! Easy as that. So what we're doing now is we're now using PWM. In fact, that's probably a little bit bright. So I'll lay that over there. So we're now using PWM to do exactly the same as what we're doing with that little LED. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing something very similar. What we're doing there is just increase and decrease in the brightness. Um, which is the frequency. Uh, I can quickly put my super amazing scope on there, That's unless I manage to pull everything down around it. So here's my scope. Yep, I know, but it's mine. No need to say anything. Hope I'm just going to see if you can actually see that screen. Yeah, yeah. It's gone, not getting too much shine in. And there we go. So we've got to increase the. There you go. Now you can see the you can see the signal changing. So that was going negative, wasn't it? So let's lift it the right way around. There we go, that's better. Yeah, so that's just giving you a load of... There. Yeah, that, that's actually, that's most likely a fault with my um, cheap little scope here, but it's good enough for what I need at the moment, which it gives you an indication as to what's happening. So you can see the time domain there as it increases and decreases. Basically, all it's doing is switching the LEDs on and off very quick. That's all PWM is, for want of a better way of putting it. So what we're doing is we're using the that um, MOSFET as a switch just switch it on really quickly and we're increasing and decreasing the length of time that it's actually on for um, for when so obviously it's on a lot longer so it increases increase the length of time it's on so that's your time to end um, there you go so the next plan will be to do the same thing on a on a motor so that we can get uh, increase and decrease the frequency which we're sending um, uh, the uh, signal to a motor, which will do that shortly.